Hi, this is Rich again, and I wanted to show you guys my uh, latest project, and it's going to be uh, rain barrels. And I'm going to actually catch the rainwater and use it to flush the toilet. That's that's my goal here. And as you can see, I got uh, my gutter up here, and uh, it flows down into into that contraption there. And what that is called is the first flush. And if you're like me, you've never heard of that before. But it, uh, it makes sense. When it first starts raining, you know, it washes off all the uh, debris and the dirt that's on your roof. So that's the dirtiest water. But after it you know, rains for a while, it's, it's cleaner. So what you do is catch it in that thing, and then, then you divert it into your rain barrel. And uh, I'll show you how I made that thing. Now these are the parts I used for my uh, first flush. Okay, first you have just a piece of PVC, a T, some kind of T valve. And then I have a hose that's going to connect into there, but you can just use straight pipe if you wanted. And I have a like a four inch tube here, and I put a stopper on the bottom so I can clean it out. And I put a little drain here so you can drain it every once in a while. And a Gatorade bottle. And that's it, and I'll show you about all the pieces right now. Okay, this is my first part here, and actually it's just a, um, a piece of PVC like this, it's just a T, and you can use any kind. I bought this at uh, the local ReStore around here, and this is actually two pieces. I found this piece the other day, and I guess it's actually a, a splice in it. They put on a, a bigger pipe, you'd splice another one into it. But it worked good because it has this nice angle on it. I put the uh, heavy-duty screen up here, and what happens is... That'll be outside your gutter. You put your gutter like about like that, so the rainwater will come in. Any debris and stuff will fall in here, and then should be washed off with the water flowing down. And I just hook a hose into there. And what you do with your tube, this is where you collect the the dirty water, and they'll fit fit right onto there. So what happens is you take a, I got a Gatorade bottle. It works great. And I just drop it down into this tube. And what happens is when the um, when the water is coming down into here, it's going straight down into there. So what's going on? It's filling up. So as it fills up with the dirtiest water, that uh, Gatorade bottle is going to rise. So it's going to come all the way up here to the top. And then where it's connected, where it's connected down here, it's going to go all the way up there. Once it gets up here, it plugs up that hole. So then that has to divert the water over here into your rain barrel, and you get the cleanest water. Works great. It's very simple. And you can use any kind of tea. I just got a good cheap price on these, so I use that. Okay, here's the uh, top of the rain barrels, and there's my tube coming from the first flush, and it goes down into the barrel, and then this tube on top here, going to the second barrel, this is the overflow. Okay. So actually, what happens is, these barrels, actually it works like one, it fills up like one barrel, they fill up at the same time. And what I did is, I just hooked them, hooked the valve here, and hooked one here. Now this is the connector I used on the, uh, on the barrels, and you can buy them at Lowe's, probably any hardware store. And one end is threaded to fit a, a you know, a yard hose or a, washing machine hose. Then the other side I got is a it's a three quarter inch. So all I used is a three quarter inch paddle bit, knocked my hole in there, and then you just thread it in there and it cuts the threads automatically for you. I did use some plumbing tape. But you can get them anywhere, but you'll need them. And um I came up a couple well, probably about a, two inches from the bottom, so any debris and dirt will stay, you know, will fall the heavier stuff will fall on the bottom. And then it goes to, um, I use the Y connector, and that's going down to my booster pump. And then that booster pump, I got it plumbed in, going into my bathroom, into a hose. And what, what this thing does is, it's really neat, it, um, it just keeps pressure in the top line here. So when you flush the commode, or if you just had a valve, you had a garden hose, you hook to it, the pump senses that, that, that flow of pressure and it sends it in and then once you shut the um, shut the valve off 
it sees that, but then it, it runs uh, just a few seconds longer and um, fills up the top with pressure again, so it's ready ready for the next thing. And I got the pump on eBay from a guy that sells them. It's brand new. I think it was about 165 bucks. so it's really a good deal. And it's working great so far. I'll show you inside. Okay, here's my inside where the toilet is. And all I did is put me another valve in right there. And that, that hose goes down here to a T, and the one one uh, hose goes up to the uh, toilet, and the other side of the T goes to my uh, main city water coming in. So all I have to do if my tanks are low is um, turn that off and reach on the other side and turn my water back on. And also I put in this um, little plate here, and I rigged up an LED, so that'll let me know... Um, when my tanks are low and then I can just switch over. Okay, this is my switch. I don't know if you can see it. I just have a micro switch. This is for the LED. And um, I have a little wire attached to it. I just drill a hole and it goes down into the tank. And then on the other side of the string I just have a fishing bobbin. So what happens, that just fits down in my tank. And as long as there's water there, it floats and it doesn't do nothing, but once the water gets down so low, it'll hang and the weight of that will pull this switch down and hold it down and that, that will turn my LED on and let me know what's happening. So that's pretty simple to do and it works good. And on this cap here, I also I just took a, um, a fishing bobbin here, cap, that'll let me know um, if it's filled or not. So when the water is all the way up to the top, that thing will just stick up there out of there like that. And that's about it, and it seems to work okay. Well, that's it. Uh, that's my take on the rain barrel. And uh, it's been about a week, and everything's working great. I didn't have to do nothing. No explosions or anything. <laughs> but uh, I plan on using it all, you know, spring and summer, up into late fall until it starts to freeze again. I'm going to use it in the winter time, But once uh, spring comes, I'll use it again. And hopefully I'm going to be adding a couple more barrels and stuff. Anyways, just want to let you guys see what I did. Thanks for watching. Bye.